What is up, my peepholes? This is your guy, Cly, and it's time for a little DIY. Today's video is a little bit of a sequel to the Hydra Dipped Hot Glue Fidget Spinner from last week, and that's because shortly after it went live, I received several comments about a different method that I could have used to achieve the same effect. And that method is nail polish. So I went down to my local Dollar Tree, picked up some clear top coat, some current colored metallic green nail polish, and some black, which they call circuits. I have no idea why they call it circuits. I don't think they're referencing the fact that you can use nail polish as an etchant blocker while making circuit boards, but you never know. I like that story, so that's what I'm gonna go with. Now, I'm not going to be dipping another fidget spinner. Instead, I'm going for a coffee mug because, well, I love coffee. And it's a great gift for, well, any holiday coming up. Last but not least, what you're going to need is something to dip it in. So, let's just scoop all of this out of the way. I have this nice large mixing bowl that can be used for that. Once again, this was also from Dollar Tree. So, yeah, everything in this video was sourced at Dollar Tree. I'm going to go set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this shot is a lot of the same, but I might as well tell you what's going on here. What I have is one of the Dollar Tree shopping bags laid down as a drop cloth, another one of the shopping bags put inside of my vessel to make cleanup just that much easier. I've got my nail polish ready to go, my toothpicks ready to swirl the polish, and my mug ready to dip. Because once the polish hits the water, I've got a very small window to do this. I'm using room temperature water, that way things don't spread too far or dry too quickly. So let's go ahead and get things started. A cat has decided to start sharpening her claws on the carpet, but that's fine. You don't want to start the process too high up because then your polish will just sink to the bottom. Go. I'm just going to empty this bottle into my water. There we are. It's not a full bottle that I'll be using. I just happened to have a bottle that was half empty from all the practice runs I've been doing. I have had many a mishap, sadly. There we are. Now for the black. Bring it in. Just get it all nice and mixed in there. I apologize for not talking that much during this. That should do. Now to swirl. Just move nice and slow with your toothpick. Don't want to break the thin skin that you've formed, but you do want to get the colors mingling together. Cats are doing all kinds of things in the background, I apologize. Bring a little bit of that in. I really hope uh, that's not being picked up by my mic, but it is nice and loud in here. There we are. That's as good as I'll get it. I'm going to bring my mug in at an angle because I've learned the hard way that doing it straight down will end poorly. So. R and out. And there we have it. I'm just going to clean up a couple of these lumps here, and I'll be right back when it's done drying. And there you have it one hydro dipped coffee mug sourced completely from Dollar Tree. I will admit there's still a few uneven spots on this, but that's kind of the nature of the beast, especially when using nail polish. Though, when I hit it with the clear top coat, a lot of those spots evened out and pretty much became invisible unless you know what you're looking for. It also brought the shine out of the metallic green and a few of the metallic particles that got into the black, so there's a really nice effect that I don't know if it's showing up on camera. 
needless to say, I really, really liked the end result. It was worth all of those failed attempts that you didn't get to see. <laughs> now, some of you are probably wondering how to take care of this, so if you want to play it safe, hand washing would probably be ideal, but I learned while stripping some of my mishaps that it takes a lot of effort to chip this stuff and a lot of solvent if you just want it to come off. So it may be top rack dishwasher safe. I don't know if I would still trust it in the microwave though because I don't know how the nail polish will react, but there's plenty of mugs in the market that aren't microwave safe, so no real big loss there. I may, I'm debating, I may go back and dip the other half, but at the same time, I'm really digging the Too Faced style vibe here. So I think I'm gonna stick with it. That's really all I've gotta say. I'm just admiring my handiwork now. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like. If you dislike this video or feel I could have done something better, go ahead and leave a dislike, I don't mind. If you have any ideas for future DIY projects, or just want to say hello, leave a comment. I try to get back to everybody. If you are new to my channel and want to see more videos like this, I'll go ahead and have a DIY playlist pop up as well as a subscribe button right about now-ish. And of course, until next time, this is your guy, Cly, signing off.